中的心理太奇妙。Hey and welcome. My name's Luke from Channel Game for Buzz, and welcome back to Factions. Finally, it's been so long since I recorded Factions.、Uh, I did have a couple stocked up that I did upload like、um, a few days ago now,、uh, but I haven't actually played on this server in three weeks, and it has actually reset today. So I'm glad I didn't do too much in the past three weeks because it has reset. So obviously, starting out with just Kit Starter. I still am king rank, so don't worry about that. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have just got rid of my kit just because it reset. Oh god, stuff went on the floor. What went on the floor? Ooh, more, more potions and stuff. And I should have my phone on silent. But I'll sort all this out. I do want to.、Um, oh, there's people offering me stuff. I kind of don't want to take stuff. Me my phone real quick. I kind of don't want to take stuff right off the start. I do want to get my base set up、uh, to begin with. So yeah, there's been a lot of changes. There is no longer prisons. They are strictly a faction server once again.、Uh, maybe just for the time being, but that's what it looks like at the moment. And yeah, I really do want to get out a nice early base since it has restarted. It restarted.、Um, I think it came back on an hour ago. Ooh, ooh, Warzone looks nice. So plan for this episode is to establish a tent base, not an official base where I'm going to be staying. A base where I can put chests because I'm planning on doing a bunch of PVP. Uh, oh, there's also still got KD. I've just noticed that. So, hmm, I kind of want to be careful and get a high KD to begin with. I'm not really too sure if I want to focus on getting a good KD just yet. I do like the idea of getting a KD to a hundred before. Well, try hard into a hundred. Once I get a hundred, I'll not be bothered after that. I'll just be playing normal factions, having some fun. But for now, I kind of really do want to stick with a zero deaths. So about this tent base, I'm pretty sure I'll get to a good location before I start recording again, and I'll see you when I'm about to build it. Okay, guys, I was traveling out just making a tent base in the Never, but then I stumbled across the Never Fortress, and then I think to myself, oh, yeah, I gotta remember I don't have gold stuff on just yet, so I've gotta be careful of drops and stuff like that. So I was thinking that this fortress probably has not been touched, and I'm right unless they just didn't want Never Warts. We can at least get some decent supplies from this fortress if no one else has been here, including blaze spawners. I'm thinking we could actually mine some of them ourselves. We just need to get hold of a silt touch pick, which I'm pretty sure we can buy off someone. That shouldn't be too hard to get.、Um, in terms of money, though, I don't have much. Oh, more never warts here. Quickly mine these up. Probably should take soul sand as well. Do I have a shovel? Oh, there's a shovel right here. So I'm going to take the soul sand just so I can maybe get like a bit of a farm going, just for potions. Looks like a blaze spawner should be here, but it has already been taken. Hmm. I guess we'll just keep travelling on to try and find.、Um, has that been taken as well? Yeah. Someone has been here collecting spawners.、Uh, not really too bothered about that. I guess we'll just keep travelling to make our tent base. Okay. So for ease of travelling, we're actually going to get on top of the Never, and we're going to do this by finding a nice little bit of bedrock that spawned in a certain way, like there, just so when we end up onto it. Like that. Oh, we're actually meant to go on that block there. So when we actually get on that block there. We can actually be、uh, it's the top layer of the bedrock. So we're actually going to be able to jump and chuck another ender pearl to get out. But right now we just need to get out of there. So we just need to get this ender pearl to land, kind of diagonal like that, and this should be good. There we go. There we go. So we're actually on the top now. We're actually going to eat a golden apple.、It、does take longer to eat while you're actually in a block as well, which is weird. So let's just keep trying this. Ender pearl up. That I even shoot out. I'm not even sure. I'll get back to you when ender pearl actually does go out. Okay, guys.、So、I've been going at this a while. I've wasted a lot of golden apples, and I'm actually gonna let it kill me because it doesn't seem to be working. But not to worry. You can easily just go slash back collect his stuff. But we'll just have to find another way to actually get on top. There is another way that I know that's easier than just counting on ender pearls not to glitch, and that's what I think I'm going to do. The rest of this stuff should be down here. If it's not, which it isn't. Okay, so we've lost all our stuff on top of the Never. I'm guessing. At least that's where I'm guessing it is. And、um, what were it? We're breaking stuff. Prop two and breaking two. Hmm. Didn't really want to lose that stuff, but it could have gone worse. Okay, so we've made a little bit of an investment in the shop. We've got two lava buckets and a fire resistance potion. And the reason I've got these is. Um, I'm actually gonna get some apples as well, just for the suffocation damage. 
We did lose quite a few golden apples, but not to worry, you get them back really easy with kits. So let's have one right now. We're going to actually we'll drink the potion first and just hope that we don't actually start, um, it doesn't actually not work right, right. So you look down and you place lava and you can swim up. This is kind of like the equivalent of like someone flying. Oh god. Why is this? Well, we're not suffocating. Oh, there we are. Ender pill finally worked for us. Finally. So it's really hard to do it with just playing ender pills. It is possible because I've done it in the past. But that's just another way you could do it. Can not need to buy all the lava buckets. But look at our money right now. Um, we've actually only got 1,100. So we do need to find a way to actually get some money. But for right now, let's just concentrate on that 10 base. One thing at a time. Finally on top of the never. Lost mm, quite a few stuff, but I'm not too bold about it. Let's keep going. Okay, guys, on my travels, I've actually come across this, and the thing about it is, it's claimed the person who owns the claim doesn't have enough power to keep it, but that doesn't even matter because they only claimed like half of the base. So, as you can see right now, I can dig into it, a uh, couple chests. Oh, obsidian on that, must be something good, or he just did it by mistake, not really too sure. Um, we can over claim if we need to get to them chests as well. But I don't really think it'll be necessary. It doesn't look like there's anything in it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't actually have enough power to claim them just yet. Um, so I've set home raid. Might as well do this. That's just so I can actually come back here whenever I want. And I'm planning on getting back there as soon as I at least get one power. Right now I have 0.23 power. So once I get to one power, I'll teleport back here. So I can teleport back here whenever I want, and I will do as soon as I actually have one power, just to claim over it, just to see if there is anything in the chest. If not, then oh well. But anyways, let's just keep travelling. Ooh, come across something else, and it's not claimed at all. Um, I don't know if there's any... Ooh, lava. Hopefully we've caught this guy before he's actually finished his base. Um, let's just use, let's use a bit of wood as building blocks, so let's just get in the middle of this base. And the pearl in here. Oh, looks like a dispenser vault. Oh god, oh god, oh god! I was not watching my health. Okay, do I have any armor at all? Oh my god, I'm going with some absolute pleb armor right now. But it looks like we're about to get our first raid. Um, slash back. Let's see if we can actually get anything out of this. So lava should have gone because I did block it up. Um, oh, it actually teleports on top. Slash PV1. Um, let's just get some cobble, block up this lava, there we go, that should actually do it, there should actually be no more lava, let's just get rid of this wood, dig down, there we go, we're actually in, so, yep, this is someone's vault, unclaimed dispenser slash chest vault, which, um, I don't like this too much, so like, well, not really many people on this server have too much, unless they're like insane donators, but it doesn't hurt to like look for everything, hmm, this looks like there's nothing at all apart from the armor we saw to begin with. So just this armor. I guess we'll take it just because we've got no armor ourselves apart from this armor. So we've actually got some king stuff. There we go. Got my king stuff. Got my king set back from actually trying to get to top and never. Right, so we made sure we take absolutely everything. And that's actually good, good raid. Like we got got us king armor back, which I'm proud of getting. So I guess that's our first official raid on this server, and we still haven't even got our tent base yet. Which, let me just check something. No, I still haven't got power, but once I do, I'll go back and try and raid them other chests. But for now, let's keep going. Okay, so here we go. We've run into yet another, what could possibly be a base. That looks like a cannon. And, um, a lot of bookshelves. Is this claimed? Yeah, this is all claimed. So it looks like, yes is a faction that we are actually going to raid. Can you break this? Looks like we can break straight in. Um, I don't think we'll be able to get to the chest because I think that's claimed. But this is definitely, this is definitely looking like it could be another raid. Slash FF, uh, what they'll call just yes. Um, they've got enough power to actually keep the land, but we can actually get in here. Was that just a shovel? Nah, I'm not really interested in that. Um, couple of heads, I'll take them, why not? Um, I don't think we can get to these. Oh, we can. We can get to these. Um, just a water bottle. I guess we'll take the green stands just because I don't have any. And with my tent base, I'm wanting to actually make at least some potions. Really? Do they not claim anything but these bookshelves? Like, oh, they didn't claim some of these bookshelves. Let's just try it. Yeah, you can't mine them. Hmm. Okay, so I guess that's like another mini raid. 
Well, let's keep going and finally make this 10 base. I'm, I'm just, I keep thinking like, wait, I'll stop soon and make it, but then I find a base, so I know it's not safe to make it there. But I'm going to keep going and I'll get back to you when I find somewhere. Or if I find another base. Guys, I have finally got to an area that I liked and made my amazing temporary base. Are you ready to see this? Here we go. Yes, it's above the nether. And it's just a sky base with a bunch of chests floating in the air. But you should do the trick in storing pointless and useless stuff that might become useful to us. Really, I just wanted a temp base just like before I make my official base. I want somewhere to store stuff for like for when I go on raids and stuff. And if you check my power, nope, still not got to one yet. It really does take a long time to get up. But anyways, I'm going to let you get to one. I'm probably going to raid the base. Well, see if they've got anything that's even worth raiding. And then I'll end the episode, so I'll see you when I've done that. Okay guys, so we've finally made it to actually having a single power to our name. So slash F claim O. That should do it. And six chests. And ooh. Oh, we actually do have some stuff. So it wasn't just pointless after all saving a teleport back here. Nothing really too amazing, but I guess I'll take this for PvP. Once I get my 100 KD, I am going to be super careful with my deaths until I at least get 100 kills. And I left a couple signs with him just waiting for my power to go up as well. Raided by one versus millions, and then my YouTube, in case they want to check me out, actually raiding them. I not really call this like a, an amazing raid, but just claim them, just in case they want to know who did this. But anyways, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'm actually pumped for this reset. A lot of people get mad when a server's reset, but I think it's just alright. It's just like everyone gets reset, so it's not too bad. It's not like it's just you, and everyone just takes a fresh start. And then I like starting out, to be honest. We've just got Prop 2 for the moment, but I guarantee in no time we'll be Prop 4, fighting other people in Prop 4, and getting on with some insane raids. So just stay tuned for that, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Guys, to end the episode off, we are actually going to use a couple vote curate keys and... Hopefully get something good. Right, so here's what you can actually get. You can get five hundred dollars, thousand uh, dollars obsidian, which would be nice. TNT, which would be nice. Enchantment balls. Oh, you can get got apple. Okay, guys. So unfortunately, I have just been told the crates actually don't work too good at the moment. Hopefully, they'll be working on fixing them soon, and we can actually pull off some quite good stuff. Probably get some god apples from them. Since we're not be able to get anything from the crate keys. Hi good friend Irek here, I don't know if you remember him from earlier videos, he's actually going to give us, I believe, ooh. Alright, so he's actually chucking out mad amounts of enchanted stuff right now, we've got a load of shot 5, oh, that's, that, oh god, I think we're actually going to have to open up our private vault to actually fit all this in. Um, that's a lot of prop 4 stuff, so thanks to this guy, this guy is always helping me out in this series. Like, I'm pretty sure that's going to get a start with our PvP, so we don't have to literally start away from the bottom. Alright, so thanks to Irek, again helping us out, it's giving us a lot of nice stuff, that's definitely going to help us out and get started. But anyway, that's definitely for this episode now. Alright, so that's just the last little bit, since the quick keys didn't work, we've actually got a big helping hand from Irek. But anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!